station Houston space to ground two for okay, three 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 four activation. Okay, one second. I don't want to the camera around. No, this is a monster. Okay, I am clear of Joe Tether and ready for my first one You want me to call him out, Steve? I'll call him out. Uh, on your mini workstation, you need a beep. Five, three. Okay, stand by one. I suspect this might happen again, folks, so, uh, wow, I don't know what to say. Cam here, as she removes thermal insulation from the solar alpha rotary joint. Going after uh, alpha one. Piper and Joe Tanner working around this excited structure to remove some of these thermal covers. Worried are you that it could gum up uh, things there? We're pretty certain uh, it didn't go into the structure. Basically, the only uh, open space that was into the Sarge interface was the cover that he had removed and he actually visually saw the, both the washer and the bolt and spring go off in a direction not associated with that. The Sarge bulkhead is covered with MLI on the inboard and outboard faces as well as the rest of the covers were intact and in place during this particular bolt release. So we're pretty confident. And what we have is a picture of the flight hardware. This is a closeout photo. And what you can see on the threaded interface is the washer. Basically what, what Joe said, and we asked him a couple times to, to make sure we understood completely, uh, it didn't skitter across, the, it went across, he mentioned the direction it went in, it went across these panels um, in this direction is what he was, and the area that um, he thought if there was any place it could have stopped, he went and looked in that one nook that it could have been in and, and it wasn't there. And so um, it, we're all, like, like John had said, it, we're very confident that it's not in the structure and it, it did go out.